lost my best friend to 23 She left her body and hovered above me What is up everybody and welcome back. Today we're going to be playing Dismantle. Uh, so this is a game where apparently you get to dismantle everything around you and use the supplies to make other things. And it's also a zombie game. So of course we have to play it. Alright, let's jump in. And so we begin. Show emojis. Sure. Temperature, definitely want to go Fahrenheit. Clock format. Uh, let's just do AM, PM, make it easy. Colorblind mode, I am colorblind, but I think we can get through it just fine. All right, start adventure. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Everyone will be provided a safe transit as soon as possible. We all do what we must, just to survive, just to exist. When our society started to collapse, I was prepared. My underground shelter was filled with food and supplies, but that was years ago. Nothing's left now. I have no idea what awaits me at the surface, but I can't stay here. All I know is that there's supposed to be an evacuation site to the east. I need to get there. I need to escape this wretched island. So I guess now it's time to figure out the controls. All right, so you move around with your typical AWSD. Left click does a little swing. Right click doesn't do anything right now. Can't damage it with this tool. Okay, so apparently crowbar won't damage that. All right. Taking out the grill, we got some scrap metal. That's good. Rocks. Nope. Metal barrel? Nope. Campsite. Light a fire. There we go. Camper. Discover and light campfires. Good. Oh, we got a storage box to take care of our material. Got some wood. So at the bottom, it looks like we only have five slots in our backpack to be able to hold things, so we gotta be careful. We're probably gonna end up having to run back every so often to uh, unload. Press the left button to strike and destroy objects. Alright, we already figured that out. Looks like we're gonna get some more wood. Okay, and so the materials you collect, they do stack. But it looks like you can only carry four of each. Crowbar through obstacles. Upgrade the crowbar tool and break through the obstacles. Okay, so we need to find scrap metal, wood, and then we upgrade at the camp. All right, and it looks like when we go to these um, question marks on the bin here, or exclamation points, we, um, we can accept the mission. Some scrap metal. Oh, we can take the plants down as well. Okay. Organic materials harvested from plant life. Cool. I don't know what those are going to be for. Right. Looks like we got a bit in here. Isn't that it? Okay, I don't think we can get anything else. A right, little health thing still there. Store everything. So it doesn't look like we can actually get into the storage box, and I'm not sure that we need to. We're gonna sit down at the camp. All right, let's. Uh, here's our personal inventory: what we're wearing, the tools that we have, special items and trinkets. 
any features right now, our quests, and collection. Okay, so we can actually access the inventory. But would we actually do anything with it in here? Auto collect these materials. Okay, I guess that's a good one. Alright, we'll exit out of that one and we'll upgrade our gear. It says we need to upgrade our crowbar and backpack. But we don't have enough for our backpack, so let's do the crowbar. Oh, you gotta hold it. Alright. I'm gonna leave. And now I guess we can go take out that dresser. Ooh, and we get the table. I am noticing that the crowbar itself isn't losing any kind of uh, durability, so that's good. Alright, we do these barrels now too, cool. Probably got two scrap metal out of that one, that's good. Alright, so we actually completed this little quest, and so we get 600 XP from, I guess, just beating that thing up. Okay, can't do the couch or this table. Man, you really can do a lot of stuff. All right, space bar makes you roll. Come on, hit the chair. There we go. So we got to run back and all right so left shift is going to help you run throw all those things in there can we let's go over here and get some more stuff before we move on right, got a couple more scrap metal still can't get the rocks uh upgrade damage to 45 all right okay still can't do a tire so we're good for now. Let's see if we can upgrade our backpack. No, we still need more plant matter and scrap fabric. But the crowbar, nope, we still don't have enough. All right, we gotta go collect some more. Looks like we've got a radio. All working evacuation transports are outbound. Please keep calm and wait for the maintenance. This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. The maintenance. Not sure what that means. More scrap metal. Oh, I think we did. I think we busted some dishes there. Cook. Find cooking recipes and craft a cooking pot to start cooking. All right. We don't have any of those things, so I think we're good for now. There must have been a chair back there. More plants. Hold down and drag to control the camera. Oh, center button. Oh, nice. It's quite the aerial view we have going on. Oh, and it stays too. Okay. That's cool. Search the washing machine. Oh, we don't have any more room. Alright, let's run back, drop the stuff off, and then we'll come back. So I imagine when we upgrade our backpack, we're going to be able. Get a little busy with that one. Probably be able to carry a lot more stuff. So 
still trying to get used to these controls. Scrap fabric. Alright, so we got one of those and we need more. Dismantle everything. More plants. Can't get to that one. All right. Yeah, that camera moving feature is pretty nice. Helpful. Oh, we ran out of room again. Yeah, that, that's going to get annoying here in the beginning. I think one of our main goals is going to have to be to uh, increase the backpack limit. Some more plants in here. I really don't know how important these things are, but we're going to keep collecting them for now, just in case. All right, I guess it's time to leave the house. Oh, our first enemy. Exhuman Scrapper, a melee oriented exhuman that finds strength in numbers but is relatively harmless by itself. Okay. I'm not gonna lie, this looks like an enemy from The Last of Us. But that's okay. Alright, let's see if we can do a power hit. Yeah, we can. Alright. Let's see, just hold that button down. Yeah, of course, right next to it after we do it. All right, so press the middle button to toggle melee attack. All right, well, we don't have anything else to hit him with, so this is what we got. Melee is the only thing. Okay, escape the island, go to the evacuation site east of your shelter. Okay. Over there. Do we have a map? Let's try no map. Alright, let's break a few more things, huh? No? No? Okay. Run! Alright, we can search this trash can. We got more fiber. Good. Can't break it down. Get some trash. Plastics. That's good. I keep thinking that I can just move my cursor, you know, wherever I want to, but that, that's where you're going to be swinging, so. Alright, looks like we got room for a couple more things. And then we're going to have to go back. Right, what's it saying? What is that? Something red. Ooh, another enemy. Ooh. Okay, don't be afraid to do their... I don't even know what it's called. Your jujitsu roll. I was never good at jujitsu. I tried doing the roll one time and about broke myself. Alright, run back to camp. Drop this stuff off. Do we have enough to upgrade the backpack? We do! Alright, we have just enough. Cool. So now we have uh, six material slots. And five spaces instead of four. We need um, oof, seven more pieces of wood, and then we can upgrade the crowbar again. Cool. All right. Let's go get some more stuff. I didn't even see that barrel before. 
You have leveled up. Return to the campfire and invent a new recipe. Okay, we'll do that in a minute. New invention, throwing knives. That doesn't look like a throwing knife. This guy came back. Okay, so enemies do respawn. Good to know. What is this? Read Western Gate, Eastern Gate. Oh, yeah. East is to the right. Could you imagine if the zombie apocalypse ever actually happened? I mean, I think a lot of us at first are thinking, oh yeah, that'd be cool. You don't have to go to work anymore. You don't have to deal with people's bullshit. But then after a while, the food starts running out. No more electricity, unless you have solar panels, maybe. The gas starts to go bad. Alright, we'll beat these up and then we'll come get them in a minute. Oh, we got a friend. Ah. Uh, roll. I am curious to see how much damage these guys actually do. And it looks like our health is in the top left corner. And so far we haven't gotten hit. Alright, you can't jump so you gotta go around everything. New campfire? Okay. Does this mean we can actually access our other stuff? Level up, new skill gain, inventor. Okay, so now we can invent and craft instead of just upgrading or checking our inventory, so that's cool. All right, so we have our crowbar, now we have our throwing knives. Okay, throwing knives take scrap fabric and plastics. And we can actually track the crafting materials, so that's good. Okay, so we have things for digging and farming and fishing. Throwable, combat, supplies. What is this? Ember pills. Used in situations where there was no other way out. Painless death. Hold and you die and return to the home shelter campfire. I'm not really sure what we would need that for, but okay. All right, we need a cooking pot to be able to cook our food like we found earlier, but we need ceramics and we haven't seen those yet. Backpack, we already know about that. Exploration, resource management, and camp upgrades. Okay, so it looks like there's a lot of crafting that we can do in this game. Outfits as well. Jeans and jersey, that's not gonna do much. Damage block 10%, okay. All right, so right now, there's not a lot that we can do, so we need to go get more supplies. And we look at our inventory, our collection. That looks like everything we've collected, so we don't have to worry about running back and forth between um, these storage chests. Okay, so our main quest is to escape the island. We don't have any side quests right now. All right, let's check out what this is. I imagine this is another side quest. Find a map at the Link Tower, upgrade your backpack, and level up. Okay, so we've already leveled up. We've already upgraded our backpack. Maybe they'll get checked off? I don't know. Yep, they got checked off. All right, find a map at the Link Tower, wherever that is. Get some more metal. Come on. All right, what's in the doghouse? Nothing? Okay. The dog isn't home. I wonder if that's foreshadowing, telling us that we'll end up getting a dog. That'd probably help. Let's go over here and take this guy out. Oh, there's two of them. Oh, yeah, it respawned again. Ooh, we're making noise. Got him. Okay, so it said they're relatively harmless when it's just them. Just one of them. But now we got a few. Run, 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 run. Woo, turn the camera. 
Come on. Ooh, power smack. Power smack. Come on. They still haven't hit me yet. They're not very good at this. Terrible zombies. Oh, we missed. I think we hit that light bowl. All right, we got more fabric, so that's good. Trash can, can we hit that? No, all right. Let's go over here and go inside. All right, we got metal. Oh, we picked up a tomato, red and juicy fruit that grows in the bushes, okay. Can we cook the tomato? Cook. Oh, we still have to get a cooking pot. All right. Can't take out the grandfather clock. More plants, okay. More fabric. That's cool, it gives you a little icon to let you know, hey, you need to come search this. Otherwise, you might tend to miss a lot of stuff. Unless they're only doing it. Okay, shut the door. Um, maybe they're just giving that, that help to us in the beginning here. Take that lamp. All right, so before we actually clicked on the button that said, follow the materials that we need in order to make certain things. And so those popped up all in the top right hand side so that's very helpful it doesn't just show one thing and then kind of leave you lost on the rest of it so you have to go back into your inventory you have to go back into your campsite and figure it out again all right lots of plants i hope these are going to be worth something later on because we're getting a lot of them right now Ooh, can we get that yeah I'm telling you, you can destroy everything in this game. It's kind of crazy. Alright. I'm not sure we'll be able to get this one. The tub is in the way. All right. There we go, ceramic. All right, we gotta run back. Um, that should be a good start to getting our cooking pot going. So we can make meals. And we're also getting experience points for dumping things into our inventory, so that's good. Campfire restores your health, but also responds to monsters. However, there's no way to stop the monsters from coming back, okay. That's where the respawn is coming from. Alright, throwing knives. We still need more materials. Backpack. Cooking pot. We need five ceramic. And I think... I think we only found three. Alright. Invent link tower toolkit. Install deadly transmission. Deadly transmission. Okay. 5,000 XP, that's a lot. Alright, let's get our stuff again. More ceramic. Yep, respawn. It's okay though, because they give us material. Ooh. That actually did some damage. So when you're not fighting the enemy, you cannot do like a power a power hit. You have to You can only do that when you're fighting somebody, apparently. Which is actually kind of helpful because as you're, you know, taking out all this different stuff, you can easily just hold the button. You don't have to keep clicking it like I've been doing. full again. Yeah, we need to upgrade our backpack. This is annoying. Okay, 
so I think we found another ceramic, which means we need to find one more. Can we get this chair and the table? Not the table. We can get the chair. Okay, so that's one more. What is this? Coat rack? Oh no, we died. Okay. So, apparently that's why it's not so hard to get away from them because they do a lot of damage right off the bat. It only takes a few hits for them to take you out. But that power shot, it actually disrupts them. Yeah, see, we just lost a third of our life from that one hit. All right, we got to be careful. Got him. Grab some more wood. Is this plastic or wood? Plastic. All right, we just looted. I think that was one of the enemies, maybe? Or a dead body? I don't know. What is this? More plastic. Hmm, I wonder if we can use this as a weapon or something. Come here! Power smack! Come on. No, didn't do anything. Just a merry-go-round. Pizza, eat it. Okay, I want pizza too. All right, so in order to get in here, we need a lockpick. And we don't have any. Just kind of run around. You can also charge up that hit as you're running away. So that's nice. All right, we need one more ceramic to make that cooking pot. Well, where are we going to find it? We got a big fence in our way. Ooh, we can take this out. out of inventory space again, but we'll come back. Can we get this tree? No, just the bushes. Alright, run, run, run. Yeah, so initially in really any kind of a crafting game, it kind of requires you to pick up a lot of stuff. And it's a little tedious in the beginning, you know, but oh well. Part of the game, I suppose. Plastic from the trash. All right, can we sneak up on the zombies? Yes, we can. Gotcha. Search the car. We got ah, oh, yeah. There's our ceramic. All right, cool. Um, you know we're already out, so we might as well. We might as well finish picking up some stuff. And it looks like we found that tower. 
All right, you better hurry up. That zombie's coming around. There we go. We got a map. Cool. Open east gate. Oh, no. All right, we're definitely gonna need better weapons to take on that guy. Open west gate. Yeah, nearby threats. All right, we're gonna leave. Now that we got our map, at least we have some directionality in here instead of just kind of wandering around. More plastic. Run! <laughs> Oh, don't get hit. Oh, we died again. We're terrible at this. We need better armor. All right, let's see if we can craft anything. All right, we leveled up. Choose a new skill. Pack rat. Material carry slots plus one. I like that one. Max hit points plus five. Or animal friend one. Unlocks animal treats recipe. Animal friendliness makes animals less afraid of you. Why do we need that? Are they going to help us out? Or does it make it so that we can hunt them for food later? All right, so we got two new things. Link Tower Toolkit, experience level seven required, but we're level three, okay. Um, crab, cooking pot, not crafting. Bag of blood. A fresh reserve of blood to keep the hemoglobin level stable. Interesting. All right, we need to go back out. Baseball cap. Yeah, we still need more plastic. I missed one. Basic lock pick, level 12, all right. We have a lot to do before we can start making these things. So let's run around and see if we can get some more stuff that we need. Tomato soup recipe. Okay, cool. There's our final ceramic. Ooh, we're making noise. This guy's not happy. Not today. Yeah, they still hit us because we rolled into the wall instead of away. All right, more tomatoes. Oh, it's inside the room. All right, can't take out the bed. I keep forgetting that we can literally destroy, like, everything. More fabric. What's in here? Can get that light. That's it. Can you get that chair? Do we have room? Yeah, we got room. We got room for some more wood. All right. Okay. Back to the storage unit. All right. We got a common collector. Cooking pot. Let's make that. Campfire automatic. Oh, yeah, yeah. Invent and craft. Okay, so we're getting a thumbs up on the cooking pot. Let's do that one. Oh, we gotta hold it. Keep forgetting. Perfect for cooking recipes at stoves. Okay. And it looks like you can upgrade it too, but you need maybe an iron brick and whatever that is. An ingot, if you will. We don't have enough plastic for throwing knives. 
And I'm wondering if the throwing knives, you can actually pick them up again, but the baseball cap requires more plastic as well. Backpack, we need two more wood in order to, to upgrade, so that'll be good. Crowbar, we can do now, but that means we're gonna lose out on our wood for the backpack. Hmm. Well, right now, one of the biggest issues is being able to hold materials instead of having to run back to the, the storage box all the time. So I think we're going to, we're gonna try and upgrade the backpack first. Power smack, oh, that did good. I wonder if it's because we leveled up. Looks like there's a dead body right there with stuff that we can get. Woo! Did you forget that we're here? Oof, and it still hit us, all right. A lot of stuff, cool, a lot of plastic. It's in the car. Fabric, that's all you got? One little fabric in the whole car? All right. I'm not impressed. Some more plastic. All right, so we got one wood out of that, and here's our second one, so we can upgrade our backpack. Sweet. All right, looks like we don't have any more room for that. All right. We'll go drop this stuff off, upgrade our backpack, and then we'll come back and collect. Actually, maybe we should actually collect right now. Because I think as soon as we sit down, it might actually make these go away because everything respawns. So maybe we should just wait a little bit. Try and grab some more stuff first. Oh, there's an enemy right there. Can't get any lower. Woo. That got a little crazy. We need some better weapons. Alright, so every time we hit something, we're actually making these guys more aware of us. So we gotta be careful. Blocked. Okay. We gotta go around. Can we go around? Got a little bit of metal in the van. Can't even take out the fence. Woo! Let's upgrade this backpack, huh? There we go. Eight material slots and six space per material slot. All right, we need more wood again. Lots of wood. And the requirements for the backpack have changed over to hide with the addition of scrap fabric and plastics, okay. Or at least I should say the height is the addition, but anyway. All right, let's see. We can invent our throwing knife, okay. Limited number of uses. The uses are automatically replenished when you rest at the campfire, okay. Throw a knife towards a locked target by using the right click and hold it to do manual aiming. All right, so that's our special item right now. Cool. Anything else? Nope. We used all of our materials and so we gotta go collect some more, but maybe we can try out this new, Ooh. 
I just threw it. Let me replenish real quick. That happened real easy, too. <laughs> Alright. Where are the baddies at? Oh, there you are. Woo! That does some damage. Okay. Alright, so apparently you only get three of them. So, use wisely. Alright, now it's time to cook. Welcome to cooking! Cooking and eating gives permanent upgrades to various stats. Okay, permanent upgrade. Cool, alright. So, tomato soup, max hit points, five. So... Add ingredient by left clicking, and then cook and eat. Cool. I wonder if we can do it again if we find more. All right, so our max HP just went up by five points, so that's cool. All right, now we need to run and see if we can get some more materials. need to upgrade our armor okay so we sat down at the fire and it did not hold on all right we sat down at the fire and it didn't actually make all of our collected materials disappear that we're just kind of hanging out sitting on the ground waiting for us so that's good Sometimes that power hit doesn't uh, initiate because it doesn't quite register that you've actually come into contact with an enemy. And it's probably because that little uh, reticle didn't come up. We don't need you sign. Okay, I can't do anything with these. That's a lot of rock that maybe we'll be able to get to later. Might be hiding something. All right, bunch of supplies. Can we go in this house? Looks like there's a lot in here. There's a door. Yeah, no more room in the inventory for the fabric. thing so we can move it actually open the door the only thing we have room for right now is plastic so why don't we just take this guy out and we'll use Hiya! one of our throwing knives tomato Ceramic. For those of you thinking of building your private underground shelters, I say this. Is that really something that will help your neighbors? Or is it an act of pure selfishness? Something that only a snake would do? This is an automated recording sent from K23, the Crown Station. Well, whatever you want to call it. You know, it might actually help us survive. 
I'd say that's pretty important. This guy walks really slow unless you're hitting that run button. So we get a better weapon, but in due time, someday. It's nice kids, you can uh, actually search vehicles and other things multiple times if you're in the same area. Silent strike. Right, we got a little quest here. All right, reach XP level five. Return when the requirements are met. Okay, fast basketball, whatever that means. about three quarters of the way to level four. Uh, still trying to get used to this whole dynamic in here. up high. We can't even get to it. We have to build a ladder or something? Oh, that's lame. It says it's a timed crate, but we can't even reach it. Okay. Fine. <laughs>
Alright, level up. Gather, start gathering mushrooms, bird eggs, and other useful resources. Or we go back to the animal friendliness perk. Or fighter, melee damage versus monsters, 5%. Okay. I think gathering resources would probably be beneficial right now, especially in the beginning of the game. So we'll do that one. So it looks like we can actually sleep. Let's try that out. Invent and craft a sleeping bag to sleep at the campfire. Okay, so we can. Oh, easy enough, but it's going to take up a lot of our scrap fabric. So let's see if we need to make something else that's more important right now, like a shovel. Used to dig up things hidden underground, okay? But you can use it as a weapon. Scrap metal, scrap wood, and plastics, okay? And then our baseball hat. Scrap fabric. Damage block uh, plus 5%. Hmm. I'm gonna flashlight. We need electronics anyway, which we don't have. Okay, let's do a shovel. Because we don't know what we're gonna need for that. And then let's do the baseball cap. Looks like we're wearing it already. Our tools are set up. Alright, so we need to get three more scrap fabric in order to make a sleeping bag. But we can upgrade our crowbar, so let's do that. Throwing knives, we need 20 plastic and we're missing 17. Okay, so... It seems like this game has a lot of grinding going on. In the beginning, because we can't go anywhere from this main area. So that means we have to go around and continue to collect things, which is fine. takes two hits to take him down instead of uh, two charged and one you know, regular. Okay, all we need is one more to upgrade, but we're going to run around and do some exploring first. I did not see that coming. Okay. So, the red barrels explode. Good to know. And there's our dead body. Oh, okay, so before I thought we were just finding a random dead body, but it turns out it's ours. Some scrap metal. More pizza even. Nasty creature is. We don't. Yeah, we don't want to piss him off yet. I really hope this lets us go back. 
I don't think we can take him yet. We're probably gonna die. There's a good chance we're gonna die. Okay, we're good. We can run away. Never mind. There's actually more check out in these areas than I thought. Oh, he's new. Ooh. New monster slain, ex human hurler. Okay. I don't like him. Alright, looks like there's mushrooms on the outside, but we can't get there just yet, of course. I have to come back for the rest of these materials. We don't have to run it as far anymore. Which honestly it wasn't that far to begin with, but that's alright. Helps us out. Okay, to survive you need to further equip yourself. Invent a cooking pot, which we already did. Cook any food recipe and craft throwing knives. Alright, we've done all of that, so that should take care of that all together. Head of the curve. Just sat down and got our health back real quick, but we didn't. That's all right. I did buy this right here. Those throwing knives really do a lot of damage. stuff over here. And this guy's back. Yeah, that throwing knife did a lot of, a lot of work on it. Let's see what this guy's got. <laughs> 
it looks like he actually does melee damage and range damage, so watch out for that. His ranged attack only does like four damage, but his melee, his melee does quite a bit. Our health is really low, so let's go back and sit down. It's gonna respawn the enemies, but that's okay. We need to figure out the lockpick. Oh, you know what? That's level 12. That's gonna be a while. All right. So maybe we should go the other direction then. But we came into the sleeping bag, so that's, that's good. Passes time and grants temporary well-rested effects. Okay. I really don't know what this bag of blood is for, but I mean... Maybe we should make it just because. It's a trinket. It has special effects when equipped. Max hit points plus five. Okay. Interesting. We could upgrade our crowbar again. And it seems like that's the only thing we can. So we'll just do that. make it a little bit easier going after these bad guys. Did not mean to do that. I keep thinking that the right click is going to be the one to um, move the camera around, but... Alright, doing damage. Okay, let's look at the map. This is the west gate. We already know we're not going to be able to take him just yet. And we need a lockpick, which we haven't figured out quite yet. So I think we should just come over here and cruise around. Let's see what we can find. Open up the west gate if we clear all these guys out. I wonder if there are going to be things over here that could help us 
so in order to get through the east gate. That one again. Gathering some mushrooms. Just one. Right, here's another one. Right, we're gonna run back over here and figure out what is this thing? Oh, I think it's locked. this area I think maybe we can open it now because we can't obviously clear the other side unless maybe there's some kind of a mission that we're just not privy to yet back and see what we can do. <laughs> so to stop the monster respawning, we need to invent a link tower toolkit and install deadly transmission to the link tower. But if I remember right. here but let's try the west gate sealed until nearby threats are removed okay well i'm not sure how we're gonna get to the other side but okay i suppose that means we're gonna need to either take on the big one or figure out how to make that link I highly recommend upgrading your crowbar. It makes uh, 
harvesting this stuff a lot easier. At least quicker, anyway. We are gaining a little bit of experience every time we break something. So, there we go, some crap electronics. I'm not sure what it was. It was a TV or something? off real quick and we need to find more TVs and stuff. So I think it gave us scrap electronics but let's see what we can craft. Alright for our level up max hit points plus five material carry slots plus one XP from everything plus 8%. Oof, that's a tough one. These are all really good. Let's do experience. Alright, invent and craft. We need to be level 7 to make this Link Tower kit. And it looks like it takes electronics and um, iron ore. Something like that. And we haven't done that at all yet. Shock Absorber. Dissipates kinetic energy to ease difficult maneuvers. Dodge roll speed, 7%. Sickle. Agricultural tool convenient for cutting down several foliages and brushes at once. Power attack, 15%. That's pretty neat, but we need no more ceramic for that. Bag of seed. Sure that we're ready to go farming yet. Okay, so we need more saran. We need a lot more saran. We can't upgrade anything else. Let's try and sleep. We'll run around in the daytime and we'll get that extra bonus. Crowbar, crowbar really helps with many different facets of the game. Can't do cars. Can't do any of that. Can't do wood.
TV in this place. Bed now. More fabric. Things don't respond, or maybe just not right away. Okay, so by hitting one, I can switch between my main weapons here. found some plastic and some metal. I guess you're not always going to find something. I guess we're going to switch back to the crowbar if we're actually going to get materials. We can make the flashlight now. The question is, do we really want to over, you know, other items? So we can't do the fridge. We need to upgrade damage at 35 for that one. Really? Can we do that bed? We can do the other bed. Alright, can okay, do the washing machine. Looks like we just need to keep upgrading. it because it's up on top. I'm not sure how we're supposed to get up here. Maybe if we come back around, but I don't think there's a way to go in through here either. Hmm. For the crowbar, we need 25 ceramics and 8 rubber. So we already have most of the supplies. We just need to get more. And that's going to help us get different items that we weren't able to get before. Like right now, we now can have fa uh, fabric, but we need to find iron in order to make our Link Tower toolkit. And I'm imagining that it's probably going to be the bigger metal things that's going to give us that iron. What do we need? It doesn't tell us what we need to make that. For shock absorbers, dodge roll speed, we don't really need that right now. Not a, not a big deal, but we do need ceramics. Oh. Well, folks, I think that's it for me on this one. Uh, we've reached level 5. This is a pretty good intro to the game, I think. Um, give you an idea of kind of like what it's about. There is a bit of a grind to it in order to collect enough materials to upgrade so that you can collect other materials so that you can, you know, eventually progress. But, you know, overall, I feel like this is one of those games where if you're just looking for something that's fairly simple, 
maybe you had a long day at work and you just want to chill out, this is the game for you. I can see myself coming home after a long day and just kind of relaxing and, you know, letting all the stress away, just playing this and smacking things. So, um, on Steam, I believe it's $13 right now, so check it out. Um, that's pretty cheap, honestly, for a game like this. Uh, when it's not on sale, I think it's roughly $20 to $30, so if you're looking to get it, now would probably be the time to do it. So. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, come back for more. We'll do another episode or two. Um, we'll get more into the game, more crafting, and more developing, and, and see where we can go from there. All right, hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks.